What is in the box? What did you rescue this time, William? This thing was hit in the parking lot uh, near, near Cabela's. And it broke its wing? Something's wrong with its wing, yeah. That's literally a full-size hawk, bro. Trying to keep him calm so we can get him to the rehab. I know I'm not putting my finger near him. Knowing you, he'll probably start loving you. He jumped out of the box. All right, Kyle, I was doing landscaping quotes. Man, this trail is really foobar. If you know what that means, don't put it in the comments. But he was organizing the landscaping trailer and doing stuff. Let's see what he did. Okay, okay. Organizing and consolidating. Bloop. Very nice. Everything's getting much more organized. Okay, I like it. You put the shrub trimmers right there. That's a good idea. Ladders. Ropes. Oh, he installed the equipment defender. Oh, you put them right there. Yeah, that'll hold. Smart idea. I would have never thought of that. Okay. Wow, he hooked up the tool rack. How did he get that to stay? It's so wide. Where did he bolt it? Oh, he used screws on the inside. Okay. Yeah. I'll stay. And then he got this on the, the D holder, the whatever it's called, the D handle. Okay, yeah, that works. I like it. <laughs> Daisy chain, they left. You got the helmets and PPE stuff. Yeah, dude, this looks good. Thank you, Kyle. Equipmentdefender.com. Save 10% on all the Equipment Defender racks if you go to equipmentdefender.com and use the promo code Keith10 during checkout. Keith10 will save you 10% on all Equipment Defender racks stuff organization this is all equipment defender racks here weed whips are hanging on open face enclosed trailer whatever all right here we are in a job site property maintenance trimming the shrubs pulling the weeds edging out the garden beds trimming the ornamental trees and it's pretty cookie cutter type of you know i judge it by the hour type stuff so this property is 400 dollars per visit and it's a regular client. We come here every few months, quarterly. And this, I've been reducing down our services to more cookie cutter type services. Uh, although we like to do bigger landscape jobs that are, you know, 10, 15,000 bucks. Um, these are the bread and butter jobs and they're easy. The guys already know exactly what to do. They get a bullet point list of instructions. Some customers have specific things they like and, but for the most part, this is cookie cutter and I, I'm trying to take my business in this direction to uh, simplify, to multiply, you know, when there's too many things that require Keith to be there, just like in your business, there's too many things that require you to be there all the time. How are you going to replace yourself? Or if you do find somebody who works for you, who loves their job and they get really good at doing all these different things. And then one day maybe they leave and go on to a different opportunity. How are you going to replace them? If you have all these services and all these customers with all these different crazy things that you do, it's just gonna, you're, you're setting yourself up for a long, hard road. So I really want you to listen to what I'm gonna share with you. That's Kyle in the video right now. He's doing a great job, by the way. Uh, both my guys that that work for me with me i mean i appreciate them so much they they really are articulate and they do a phenomenal job and the customers love them and you know it took me getting to the point where i was literally so depressed that i said screw it i give up i don't even care if this whole business falls apart because I was such a, a micromanaging control freak, a quality control freak, that I'd never believed anybody could do it as good as me. So I created this assumption or this preconceived notion that nobody could ever do it as good as me, and therefore I never trusted anybody. 
And because I never trust anybody, I hired the wrong people. I didn't, I, I just, here's what I want to say. When you change, when the fear of changing becomes less, when the pain of changing becomes less than the pain of staying the same, you'll change. So it actually, when it becomes less painful to just change, that's when you'll change. It took me far too long, but I, I believe, of course you have a training system and you train people of how, you know, what the outcome should be and what you, how you want things done and you teach them how to do it and you give them the proper tools and you entrust them. But there's a couple things now. When you are just at a certain point where you're just ready for the next step, like let's say getting out of the field or hiring people or whatever it is, it's just going to fall into place. Whatever you resist, whatever you resist persists. If you're resisting something and you have this belief that it's not going to work, you're going to find evidence that it's not going to work and you're going to make it not work. Somehow by the laws of energy or spirituality, when I finally gave up and I said, you know what? It just, you know what? This, this is the quality that we need. This is how we do things here. Like there was no more residue inside of me. I wasn't fighting with it or tussling with it. It was just a fact. Like the right people show up and the, the work, it just happens. It's insane. But here's the next thing. The second thing I was going to say is when you got the wrong guys or the wrong, let's say the wrong guy, it's just never going to work. No matter hard, how hard you try, he's the wrong guy. If you got the right guy, he doesn't even have to know how to do landscaping per se. You could teach him. Another policy that I put in place this year is the final walk around with the customer. Obviously, the customer is not in the video, but you knock on the door. Uh, you, obviously, the guys would knock on the door and tell the customer, hey, uh, I hope you're happy with everything. Uh, but before we put our tools away, we, we think everything looks great, but I just want to, you to walk around the property and make sure that you're happy with all the work before we put our tools away. And this works. This prevents callbacks. This has made all the difference. Case in point, once in a while you get callbacks and, you know, the customer, if they're home, this works, but they literally sent a text message. Hey, I thought the guys were going to trim a little more off the top of this or they were going to do that. I'm like, oh my God, okay, we'll be back in the morning. You know how incredibly costly that is? So just, you know, get approval from the customer before you leave. It might take an extra 10 minutes. Don't put the tools away and you will be successful. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos. It means the world to me. You know, I set out to put out messages of guys that are, you know, stuck in dead end jobs or trying to get their business off the ground. They want to launch their landscape business, get it to 100K. Like I went through hell in my journey, like tons of low self-esteem and battled with horrible, no confidence. And it just took years and tons of books and associating with people. And it's like, I just felt like it took me too damn long. So that's why I love to make these videos. If this serves you, hit the subscribe button.